It is a Monday, which is not my favorite. I'm here at the yard. I brought in just Daryl and Francisco today. We weren't working because it was a terrible weather day. It's cleared up now. Uh, but we're gonna go look at a potential major purchase. I know earlier in the summer I said that I probably wasn't going to be buying anything big this year, but after looking things through uh, towards the end of the season here, it's looking pretty good. So I changed my mind. I am going to make a couple major purchases, possibly one today. So we'll go down and we'll check it out. I'm going to bring these guys with me and see what they think and see what you guys think. You ready? I'm ready. I've always been ready. You ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. You don't even you guys don't even know what we're ready for. I know what we're ready for. <laughs> what? We're going for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Something better than that. All right, so strike one. We found one on the internet at a local dealer here, and we learned that what's in stock on the internet means absolutely nothing. They're not necessarily even available. She told me that when somebody orders a new vehicle to purchase from the dealership, that vehicle goes online as if it's available. Uh, it sounds like it's kind of like a ploy or a trick to get you to come and to get you to order a vehicle. I don't know, but that's kind of weird. Right, Daryl? That is. Yeah. Not normal for me. So we're going to go somewhere else. There's another one that I know is in stock, but we'll go take a look at that one. It's way more money, but we're going to look at it anyway. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Don't we know it? <laughs> All right, so we are way over in Racine, which is quite a distance from my house. Like 40 minutes or something, right? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. And the truck that we're looking at is right here. Look at that. It's a Silverado 5500 HD. It has a Duramax diesel and Allison automatic. But this truck is very expensive. You'll probably very, get a good deal though. Very expensive. So obviously it's a four wheel drive and it is really nice. It's a pretty big truck. It's a dump body, has a toolbox mounted, has pull down sides so you can load blocks with pallet forks and all that. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> like that. Yeah. It has a tailgate where you can unlatch it and pull it down from the top. Just like this. If you want to dump a load of whatever off of there. It's a really heavy duty truck. It's, it's a heavier truck than I actually need. But it also offers a little bit more flexibility. If I ever want to tow a skid loader or whatever, this thing would work great. Has the aluminum Alcoa rims, which makes it look, look pretty sharp. It has leather seats. No, they're vinyl seats. No, they don't have leather seats. No, it's, just it's vinyl. No? Yes. Really? Yeah. Like no, 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 it's vinyl. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. It looks pretty complex. Lots of wires. Lots and lots of wires. How's it going? I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. Ryan, Mark. I'm the commercial fleet guy here. Daryl? You talked to Danny, right? No, I talked to... I don't know what his name was. It was a really hard name to pronounce. Pico or Pika or something. Oh yeah, Petco. Yeah. Petco? Yeah. Yeah. Can I drive it? Sure. Alright. It's so expensive though. It, make, it gives me butterflies, honestly. Just yeah. to think. No, I'm serious, yeah. man. How much is it? Uh, it's it's $90,000. 92 with tax that's a lot of money man i'll just say i'll give you 2500 cash <laughs> the only thing is diesel huh hey oh this is the block heater Look it. oh that's the stud for jump starting uh, right. so you don't have to take the whole cover off in the wind there what engine is in this right it's a duramax it's 
got about a thousand foot pounds of torque. It's an absolute beast. Oh yeah. It's a beast of a motor. It's four wheel drive. Wow, look at the caliber on this thing. It's so oh, it's huge. Is it? Imagine if Eric was here. Oh, he would go crazy. But he'd be calling all the parts the wrong stuff. <laughs> he'd be like, this isn't a very big fuel tank right here. <laughs> right? You know what I see when I look at a truck like this? What I think? You better get an extended warranty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Because you know this thing's going to be expensive to fix no matter what. Your driver's license. Surely. Man, it's cold out here. It's cold. It's not that cold yet. It's pretty cold, man. It's yeah, I know, it 37. Is. And then they keep it here for a long time, just constantly running. This is nice. This vehicle is in demonstration mode. Connected by Can't wait to drive these every day. Driving. I think it's probably got a... So we got a backup cam? Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Where is it though? Let me see it. Nah, Where is it? No, this truck will be like the backup truck until the white truck dies, and then I'll replace it. Hopefully, the white truck will go for another ten years. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> this thing will just be we'll sitting, be sitting in the yard, there looking no nice, reason. right? Take it for a ride. All right, sounds good. Uh, work off your best number for me, please. Uh, Victory Outdoor Services. Actually, how many vehicles you guys have? Uh, like GM fleet number five. Okay, or so, so. That's not, okay. Why, what do you need, a dozen? 15. Oh, no, I don't have that. I don't have 15. All right, I'll take it around so, the corner and I'll uh, give it. All right, sounds good. I'll be back in 10 minutes or so. Fluid in there. It's rough with no weight in there. Oh, I know. It's a heavy truck. I mean, it's, yeah, it is. it's made for pulling and hauling and stuff. This is a real man's work truck right hey, here, though. Yeah, like, dude, this is all... You would do anything with this truck. Yeah. Anything. That's the nice thing is you can plow, you can tow a skid loader so easily. Yeah. It's, this turns sharper than the F-350. Yeah? Oh, sure does. Look at this. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. That's hey. way sharper than the F-350. Yeah. Because that's one thing you need when you're plowing and salting is a good turn. Oh, yeah. Right if you don't have that, you got to keep backing up and turning it around yeah. and turning it around. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, Junior will be like, see, I got my license hey, now. Junior will be like, what if I was thinking if I could take these home, <laughs> bring it tomorrow? Yeah, right. You want to clean the frame and stuff in the winter after sure. salt, and you tip it up, you can wash the frame right out. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, if you ever need to take some topsoil or something real quick somewhere, oh, exactly. you can go dump it off. Plus, this has a capability of towing, you know, a trailer, skid, yeah. skid loader in the future, or whatever. You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, this truck is capable of anything. anything. I don't know how it opens in the size, too. Plus, being four wheel drive, that's a beast. Why oh, at all? We'd have to put something on here, like a yeah. bed liner, Rubber, yeah. something with some grip. Remember that stuff you used to spray out there? Yeah. That would be awesome. A bed liner would be cool. We could fit some stickers back here. Oh, yeah. Advertising, yeah. advertising. Yep. Advertising on the side, the front we could do the American flag. Uh -huh. This one could go on the parade next season. Ooh, and next we July 4th with some giant American yeah. flags. Could go in there. That would be nice. Buy a couple of those. Yeah. You want to, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Go ahead. Come on. Here's a plate. How you doing? Go ahead. Keys. It's all broken down. The only thing I didn't dig to is taxes because I didn't know what county or what tight yeah. size plates. So that's the body, their dealer fee, discount of that, and then there's two rebates that come from the factory. So this is what you actually pay tax on, and the rebates, and then whatever plate fee you want. All right. Oh, eighty-three thousand dollars plus taxes. Why is this truck so expensive? I know. Because they uh, let, that thing will last for three hundred fifty thousand miles. It's a medium. All those Chevy medium duty trucks yeah. are built as a 6500 declassified down. So that's yeah. really a 6500. You can see right here, 
Never this is what GM components. brought yeah. to it. GM yeah. brought this, the engine, the transmission, because the owner right And part of the cab. And part of the cab. Not and the then, hood. Right, the hood they, they no. agreed on. Right, so yeah. everything else, that's a point. So Navistar, when I went down yeah. there, I even went to the Navistar factory where they build them. So it was weird. You see Kenworth. That's who Kenworth Trucks mm -hmm. International. You would see them come through. And then everybody had, like, blue sh blue shirt on with yep. the blue carts. And I'm like, what the heck is that? And then all of a sudden there would be a another truck line come in and they were all green it was military so they're making all their frames and bringing them through and then the chevy would come through and they were all wearing orange oh. and they would all have all their parts and put all their stuff on so it was all coming down and the guy talking giving a speech the tour guy mm -hmm. he said the gm specs were even heavier duty than the military specs hmm. so this is built um, like on a 6500 cab chassis chassis mm -hmm. and they just declassify it because every classification the emissions is different I can you tell me about the warranty that comes with it factory the warranty, warranty? And that is uh, is on the diesel and transmission is unlimited it's 10 years please, unlimited please, please. so 10 years anything happens what's going to happen is it's going to go into limp mode where the engine will only go 35 miles an hour yeah so it's designed so it won't blow it up right so if you have somebody that's not really responsible or doesn't check the stuff like they're supposed to oh i don't have any guys like that <laughs> <laughs> Come on. what's the actual like warranty on the truck components the truck is three years thirty six thousand bumper okay. to bumper All the right. engine is uh is a duramax engine yeah. allison transmission married to it together yeah. is uh 10 years hundred thousand right. 10 years or, it's a 10 years or a hundred thousand on a diesel the transmission is unlimited all right so, um, it is a big investment but a pickup truck is 70k right yeah. so <laughs> i'm looking at this price compared to a pickup truck and, and, well that's gonna make you money yeah exactly so and this is more money. capable than a pickup truck right. as far as towing goes and then payload yes yeah. If I get this thing, I'm, I'm planning on taking it to the end of my career, 15 years. You don't make it there. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't get heavy, you heavy, heavy use. You're probably no. not going to use it that much. No. That's... no. Here's my keys. Go sit in my truck. I got to talk to the gentleman. Private. Can I get a coffee? <laughs> yeah, right over there. Thanks. Thank you. What do we need to do to make it happen? Are you uh, going to finance through us, finance through your own? You're just writing a check? Why don't you, I can type you up a contract? Yeah, tell me a contract, I'll write you a check, and then just let me know when you guys are ready for me to pick it up sometime. That's fine. I don't need it today. I mean, whenever you're ready, you can bring it by. I don't care. And the truck will be all, because there's like some residue from like a sticker on the door. Yeah, oh no, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll make it's sure all it's going to be fueled. I'll okay. have it full. Uh, when you're gone, I'm actually going to run it in and tell them to tell them to check out all the fluids, top everything off. Okay. I'll have my driver go fill it up with fuel. You get a full tank of gas oh, on nice. fuel, all yep. that, and then it'll be professionally detailed. Perfect. Well, I'll do that. All right, thanks, man. A, I'll bring you um, lunch. Yep. And uh, we'll meet you there. I'll all right, sounds my, good. Here, let me give you one of my cards. Man, spending this what kind of money just makes you nervous. It though, does you make know what I'm you nervous. Uh, it does make you nervous. I just have but to. I have to keep telling myself it's an investment, it Ryan. Is, it's it an, investment, an investment, Ryan. It is, an investment. <laughs> it is a cool truck too. It though. Is. <laughs> yes, boss. What's the word? Bought it. You did? Yeah. Oh. Are we picking it up now? No. Yeah, yeah, Come on. Not today. Congrats, um, nice. Can we go load your TV up? TV. You get a free the, TV with the, a fifty thousand dollar purchase. The guy told us, yeah, like, yeah. If you make you right there, that's what the stacks of TVs are in there. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go check that. Yeah, yeah. Free TV is a free TV. I put it in the trade show booth. Yeah, they, that, 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 Spend 50 grand, you get a free TV. Yeah, just right. back out there and see, check. see what you can do. I will, I will. All right. Hey, I got you. you yeah. See what you can do. I All right. Get out of there, Daryl. You're making a terrible picture. <laughs>
that white dually, the F350. Hopefully that's still got some good life in it because I'm gonna use the new truck very sparingly, only as needed. It's gonna be the backup salt truck to that dually and then it's gonna be the backup truck whenever this truck goes down pulling the wire mesh and over the next few years it'll eventually replace uh, the F350. So uh, pretty excited about it. And I'm not done buying stuff. So I have one more major purchase to make. Uh, that'll be in a separate video and that one's gonna surprise you guys so i'm picking up actually I'm not picking up the truck he's gonna deliver the truck on thursday to the job site so that'll be the first day uh, that the guys get the other guys get to see it so it's pretty cool uh so my philosophy on buying equipment i've always been very very conservative meaning i don't like to take risks when it comes to finances i don't want to get underwater uh, there's guys that you have the opposite mentality. They'll just take out a whole bunch of loans, buy a whole bunch of stuff they really can't afford, hoping for the best, hoping that they're gonna make a lot of money in business, be able to make those big payments. I am not like that at all. So I wait and I wait and I save and I wait and I save till I can buy stuff. Even if I'm not gonna pay for something outright, I will make a very, very substantial down payment, pay for most of that purchase and then finance the rest, or better yet, I'll just pay for the entire thing and not worry about it at all. As you can see, the equipment that I have, there's my tandem, and then I have you know my form truck that's older, the Mac is older, the F-350 is older. So most of my stuff, you know, it's relatively old, and that's why I like to wait until I can buy stuff outright or just finance just a little bit. And I won't tell you what I did on these purchases, um, but the, that that's really my mentality and that's the direction that i like to go so all right well uh the plan for that truck is it is going to go in we'll get it wrapped i'm going to get it wrapped probably similar to the truck that i'm sitting in you guys have seen this one and uh it should be pretty cool so it's exciting to buy a new truck that is the very first truck uh, that i've ever purchased for my business brand new in 20 almost 24 years in business now so that's pretty cool. Even the truck I'm sitting in was used when I bought it. Not very used, but slightly used. All right, I'm going to go home, let, let Daryl finish up what he's doing, and I'll see you guys right back here tomorrow morning. Adios.